Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate a new package in Laravel community by Ash Allen, a well-known community member called Redactable Models for Eloquent. So I will show you that package in action, but also mention two alternative ways to achieve similar goals. So this is the official tweet, but also Ash written on his blog, quite a detailed blog post with instructions. And also he did a video. So I will link all of that in the description below. And the package itself is redactable models to basically hide the information for older records. In other words, it's a package for archiving models. I'm sorry for my voice is a bit shaky for some reason. Anyway, if you have older models and you want to hide some information like change some of the values to old something or add asterisks, this is the package for you. But before I demonstrate it to you some context, historically Laravel itself without packages has a feature called pruning models. So you may specify a condition to periodically delete the models that are no longer needed. For example, models that are older than one month by created at or something like that. And then whenever you don't need those models, you launch artisan command model prune or schedule that in the scheduler for daily cleanup. So that would perform the deleting of the model. Another alternative to similar goal is from Spati Laravel deleted models, which would perform the delete copying the data to a separate table. So it's kind of like soft deletes, but those deleted records would not be in the same table. So to save some space in that main table, you offload that to a separate table, again with ability to restore. And this is where we get to the topic of this video, redactable models. Actually, even the word redactable for me as a non-native English speaker is pretty weird. I don't see that used often in a typical English language, so I even googled that how to interpret that. So there are two meanings, editing the text, but also censor or obscure. So this is the kind of the meaning of the package, why it is called redactable or redact. Quite often it is needed to be done for legal or security purposes. And now finally the demo, how it works. So after installing the package with compose require typical thing in your model that you want to redact, you add implements redactable here. And on top of course, that redactable is needed too. And then you define a few functions with a few options how exactly you want to redact. First, the condition on when the model should be redacted. For example, created at is older than 30 days in this case. And then redaction strategy. One of the options is to replace some values with other values, some columns. And I will try to launch that. So I have in the users table, I have 20 records. Let's open that up. So 10 records with regular created at and then 10 records one month older. So now if we launch the artisan command PHP artisan model redact, see what happens redacting 10 models. And if I refresh that table, the data should be redacted and hidden redacted. For that, by the way, I've changed one thing in the migrations, the default Laravel migrations for users table contain unique here. So you need to remove that unique to be able to have the same email addresses. So this is one of the options, just change the values. Now I will reseed the data and show you other options. So fresh 20 records with the same created at a month ago. And another option is replace with, but depending on the old value. So add something to the old value like this, replace with you have user as a parameter to that function and then for example add a prefix or suffix or something like that and now if we launch that model redact again redacting 10 models and if we refresh the data here we have deleted here so in that case you still may use unique on the email also in redaction strategy you may use hash on the email so it would hash with md5 this is useful according to ash when you still want to compare the values which are saved somewhere else personally i think it's quite a rare case so that's why i wouldn't even demonstrate it to you another option is to mask fields this is interesting so i have again receded 20 new users and with mask contents we specify that we have asterisk for the first four characters of the name and then dash symbol with these parameters and now if we run model redact again and refresh the values see the values asterisks and dashes so yeah, quite a small package, but still quite useful. What do you think? Will you use it in your projects? Or what alternatives do you use in your projects? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.